There's almost no communication between my wife, Holly, and Ella. Ella gets in the car and her first words are, I don't want to talk. Ella is very cold and Holly is desperate to have communication and Ella has just shut down. When Ella was with other people, everything's fantastic. But when the two of them collide, it's chaotic and overwhelming. You're a judgmental person, Mom, and I don't want someone who constantly calls me names. I don't want that to be a part of my life. I'm definitely stuck in the middle. It's been overwhelming because I can't fix the problem. I believe Holly is responsible between Ella and Holly. Holly has a tendency to always want to be right, along with having the last word. She is very defensive. She does not take criticism. It's Holly's responsibility to step up and act like a parent and show emotional intimacy with Ella, even if it's not reciprocated. Do you agree that she gets pretty wound up? Very wound up, very intense. Yeah. And she does it with Ella? She does. Do you try to intervene and <clears throat> defuse the situations, or have you given up on that? I've definitely not given up on it. I believe my role as leader of the family is to try to provide peace. I'm a fixer, and I'm kind of at the end of my rope. You said that she's changed from the woman you married. How so? Less focused on the family, more focused on her activities. I am more distracted because I have more going on in my life today than I did when we first got married. I also spend time um, more time with other people because they like me. And I don't like to try to keep having a relationship with someone that obviously has a lot of contempt and hatred for me. And it's, a lot of that's your AA relationships, right? You feel hostility and, and rejection here. Yes. And in those relationships, you feel acceptance and appreciation. That's right. Uh, Holly dove headfirst into AA after her first appearance, but could this dedication got extreme. I, let's take a look at this. Holly is a sponsor of, right now I think it's 12 young ladies. Is very active in their lives. Holly has a tendency to do things in excess. Service has become one of the biggest cornerstones in my recovery. I think of myself as more of a mentor. I personally think it's because they treat my mom like she's a famous person. Like they give her so much attention. It's definitely a boost to Holly's ego to have the sponsees give her such accolades. Over 15 years, I've had um, countless women stay in the spare bedroom and see what it's like to live in a home that's happy. She does help a lot of people, but that's only because my mom tells them the good side and acts completely different than she does at home. My mom definitely cares more about her AA people more than our family. She spends her whole day with her AA people. That's all she does, every day. I'm so sick of her AA people. They're over here like three times a week. Like, get out of my house. Oh, Ella, Ella, Ella. Are you over-involved? Um, I don't think I'm over-involved, but I will tell you that without this in my life, I have nothing. I have nothing if I drink. All of this is gone. So for me, it's my priority. And I would be willing to drop all 10 sponsees if my daughter said, I want you to do that, Mom, because I want to spend more time with you. But in order for her to want to spend time with you, you you've got to be somebody that's pleasant to be around. And to do that, you got to read the room. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.